What's up, everybody? In this video, I am going to get to my Fright Night 2 haul, which um, I was really in no rush to get to this because, um, for one thing, I knew I wanted to add on to it beyond just what I got in the actual box. Um, I did a, two trades as well in order to get some items that I wanted. And then I do have some other horror figures here that I will share with you all. So, like I said, I wasn't in a big rush to get to this Fright Night haul. And actually, I, I wanted to have it a little bit closer to Halloween as well. So um, I do hope you all have a safe, um, happy, enjoyable Halloween that you get out and have some fun with it and everything. I'm saying that for people, of course, that are watching this right away. But uh, let me actually start off with some other um, horror-related items that I have here, including the Emily Corpse Bride pin, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, my friend Cat D was nice enough to pick this up for me. I actually have seen it in my local Hot Topic as well. Um, so I will get this pin out. Um, I'm not going to keep it in the box. I don't do that with these pins unless it is a chase. Some of my chases I have kept in the packaging. But yeah, this one I would like to get out in a moment. And um, I am a big fan of Corpse Bride. I actually watched it again very recently. Um, it's a movie that I revisit every once in a while. And it's definitely a good one to watch around, you know, this time of year around Halloween. Uh, next up here we have one of the latest Sam Pops, of course, Sam from Trick or Treat. And this is another movie that I have watched here recently. Uh, my friend Sarah actually helped me become a big fan of that movie. She actually purchased a copy of the movie for me. And um, since she purchased that copy, I think I've watched it like three or four times. And it's one of those movies, you know, when you rewatch it, you see other little details and things um, that you didn't notice the first time around. So it's a pretty good horror movie. And there's actually, you know, finally talk of a sequel on the way, which should be pretty interesting. But yeah, I do like the character Sam. Now, Sam here, because I think he's pretty easy to see, I think I will just leave him in the box for right now. But like I said, there's been a couple of uh, pops for him recently. In fact, at this point, um, Sam has got to have at least like six figures, I think, including the um, original one. Um, he, he's got to have at least that many figures. But uh, yeah, pretty cool pop here of him. There's him, you know, with the satchel, which is pretty cool. Um, I think the one of the other recent ones, if I'm not mistaken, may have been a um, Funko Shop exclusive. Um, next up here, we have Elvira, and this is the Blacklight Elvira, which I think looks really good. I, I really like the coloring, the way it turned out there. She's actually holding a heart in her hand, and it's like a hot pink coloring to it with the Blacklight paint job. And the box, you know, it's pretty cool here. It does have some little rough edges that were left there, but that's not a big deal. Um, you see it says Elvira, 40 years. That is amazing that, you know, she's been an icon for that long. So yeah, this is another very cool looking pop, an Entertainment Earth exclusive, which I think is still available if I'm not mistaken there. Um, so this one again might leave it in the packaging. And you know, with this video, I don't want it to be a super long video. So um, I may leave some of these um, pops in the boxes for this particular video. Uh, next up here, and there's three pops of this character now. Uh, Leprechaun. So there is the Blood Splattered Amazon exclusive, which I actually did purchase. And when I looked at it up close, I was like, you know what? I, I think I actually like the common more. So the Blood Splattered version, I've actually added that to my prize pool. Um, so, you know, somebody eventually is going to choose that pop, you know, I guess as a prize. And then there's the Glow in the Dark FYE variant as well, which I don't think I'm going to go for. I'm pretty happy here with the um, common version of this one. And yeah, pretty cool looking figure. There are nice details to him. Of course, he's holding on to the gold coin there. Yeah, I think he turned out pretty well. If you are a Leprechaun fan, you know, let me know what you think about the design. I really do like the look of the pop. And I think it's, um, you know, it's accurate enough to the movie version, but I think there's something about it where it has sort of its own personality as well. So I really am happy with the way this figure turned out. And like I said, I just don't feel the need to add the other ones to my collection. Before I get to the actual Fright Night items, here is a closer look at this um, Emily pin here, which I think turned out pretty well. I like that they actually do have the um, worm there coming out of her eye. I'll definitely uh, put that next to my Quartz Bride Pops. I do have the um, two Pops that already exist of her. So um, I'm about to get to the Fright Night box, and there is one item that's not going to be in here because, like I said, I did a trade, and this is a very cool-looking box. I like all the details that they put with this. Um, I do kind of feel like, you know, some people said they felt like the pricing for this box didn't really make sense. And I kind of agree with that. But at the same time, some of these items will probably hold some decent value over time, especially. So in the long run, I think it is worth it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up here. Now, remember, 
with um, this particular box, you could have chosen either the Freddy Funko as Hannibal or the Freddy Funko as Nosferatu, Nosferatu, excuse me. And um, I was able to uh, get the one as Nosferatu. As a matter of fact, it was actually a friend that was able to grab this for me because I tried to go for the Hannibal box myself and I just had issues with the website and I missed it. But luckily, um, my friend Cat D, you know, same individual that got me that um, pin there, uh, she was able to snag this one. I really do appreciate that. And I think this actually is the better designed pop. I mean, I really do like the look of it. Now, the teeth are not sculpted. I'm noticing that now. That would have been nice if they were actually um, sculpted there. But um, it still works, though. You know, the look of it is on point. Um, you can barely see it here in the box. But if I turn it, um, well, actually, they don't have the image on here. So uh, I don't know. But um, I'm almost tempted to get this out of the box. But there is a little um, mouse there by his foot. Uh, and I noticed the box here this did get oh, you know with the sodas well actually this one was not, not right next to the soda so I'm not sure what happened here but it does look like the top of the box had been a little bit I was about to say the pop on this side um, the pop on this side where the sodas are may have got a little bit of damage I saw that with other people but yeah I'm not sure what happened with the top of this pop this one should have been fine but it's not too bad not a big deal so yeah there is Nosferatu like I said I'm pretty happy with him and yeah, let me go and sit him aside and let's see what else we got here. So um, everybody did get the same pops, you know, depending upon which Freddy Funko they chose specifically. So, of course, I do have here the black and white blood splatter zombie. I think this is a really awesome looking pop. I definitely think this is another one of the standouts. And I will say with the actual Fright Night event, um, I know the pops that they got there, including um, a Freddy Funko as Sam, which would be so nice to have in my collection, but it's just very pricey on the second market. So um, I think I'm going to have to not even worry about that particular pop. But uh, yeah, like I said, this zombie looks really awesome. I like that it has actually like chunks of flesh missing there. You see the skull beneath. Yeah, this is pretty cool here. Now, normally this box would have the Freddy Funko as the um, creature from the Black Lagoon in it as well. But I'm not a super fan of like a big fan of the Universal Monsters. So I actually traded that away and um, I decided to get I have it here. The um, color version of the zombie, which I wish they had made this one um, glow in the dark. That would have been awesome, especially with those eyes. But it's not 100 percent necessary. I know that some custom artists have actually done that with this pop. But uh, yeah, like I said, not 100 percent necessary. And I like that the zombies, even though it's the exact same mold, the paint jobs really do make a big difference to make them stand apart from each other. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And um, a big shout out to Carlos and Rhonda, um, you know, supporters of the channel that actually did this trade with me um, to help me get this pop here. So I traded that Creature from the Black Lagoon, um, Freddy Funko, to them. Um, so, yeah, big shout out to them. And make sure that you do check out their socials. I'll um, put some links down in the description. Check them out and show them some support. I really do appreciate that trade. I will go ahead and get out here. Um, well, actually, let me do this first, because like I said, um, you could have chosen either Nosferatu or Freddy Funko as Hannibal. I really wanted both, so I did end up getting a Hannibal on the um, second market, which um, the prices dropped really fast. Like, really, and I had a feeling once the boxes shipped out that that was going to happen, so I was patient. I didn't order right away, and sure enough, yeah, the prices on these dropped really quickly. So if you're interested in getting, um, you know, the Freddy Funko as Hannibal in the second market, I can't really speak for the Nosferatu. I'm not sure how that one is trending. But if you want the Hannibal one, you should be able to find this at a really good price. Um, I think I paid around maybe 30 bucks or so with this. And I did have, um, you know, credit on Mercari, referral credit on Mercari. So, yeah, I paid almost nothing for this, basically. But, yeah, this is Hannibal, of course, with the, um, the nightstick there and he's blood splattered. It is pretty cool, but I do think the Nosferatu is the better designed pop. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on the sodas that I got here. So I got Freddy Funko as Dr. Jekyll, and this is 4,000 pieces. So this is not the one that glows. Um, this is not the one that glows. And I definitely will um, get that one out of the can. Then we have here Freddy Funko as Masked Worker. And um, this one here... I'm actually, I think I'm going to leave this in the can. I haven't decided whether I want to keep this for my um, collection or not. Um, it's 3,000 pieces, which is a low count. And I am a fan of Squid Game. I just don't know if I want to keep this one, though. So I'm going to keep this to the side, keep it in the can, and I'll think about that one. And then I actually did get one of the um, Freddy Funko Blacklight figures here. I do like the the one, um, the other one with the um, 
more vibrant colors to it but that one i think is a small account that one might be 3,000 pieces. This is 5,000 pieces. But this one still does look cool. You know, it's Freddy Funko with the Fright Night tee. And he's got a bag there. I, I will get this one out of the can. And then um, I also did a trade with um, Collecting Plastic. Um, you know, make sure you check out his channel as well if you're not familiar with him. I will link him in the description as well. Um, and I'm seeing that uh, he did send over. Now, I did a trade for um, some sodas from him. And um, he did send over some extras as well. So let me... Uh, let me share the extras at first. I'll, I'll do that. Let me share the extras first here. So he is a fan of um, Tokidoki figures, including um, the Unicorno series here. So, and what um, does it say exactly? I don't know if this series has a specific, um, I think it would have a specific name to it, but um, oh, Manga Mania. I was overlooking it, Manga Mania. So let's see which of these he sent my way. And obviously, you know, this would be a double for him. Um, Okay, so this one here, uh, let me check the box. Okay, this one is Manga Mania Snow. Manga Mania Snow. And does he have a, I think there's a little checklist in here too. So, the, I do have a couple of these in my collection, just a few of them. I think I got two from um, like a, a horror related series, two or three from that horror related series. This one does look pretty cool. But I, I don't think I'll be getting more from this particular series. It is nice to have one of these though. That does look pretty awesome. So I will find a good spot for that in my collection. I do appreciate that. And another extra he sent here, which is pretty awesome. Okay, we have here a Lego Batman on the bike. That bike looks really awesome. And I think the main reason he sent this one to me is because, of course, it does have a Harley Quinn in it. I'm a big fan of Harley Quinn. And that's pretty cool that she's on a skateboard there. I don't even think I noticed that before. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So... I think I'll find a day when I'm not working and I have some time to relax to actually get these out and put those together. And I don't know, I may share it in the video. I may not, may just do it as a re relaxation thing, but that is a pretty cool item here that I really do appreciate him sending my way. And let me show you the sodas that I traded for. He actually traded all three of his sodas to me from his box. So y'all, we do have here the Freddy Funko is Dr. Jekyll. This is the 3000 piece. So this is the smaller count. And of course, you see that this is the glow in the dark one. So we will have to check out the glow on this particular figure. And he did wrap all of these up nicely for me. I do appreciate that. Okay, next up here. So we have Freddy Funko as the masked soldier. So we'd have two of these um, Squid Game ones. We've got the 4000 piece, 3000 piece. And of course, there is another one. Um, I'm assuming it must be the manager with the square. Yeah, and I think that one was officially at the Fright Night event, which I probably could find on the second market and then go ahead and have this full set. But like I said, I'm not sure if I want to actually keep these or not just yet. Um, you see there, this one actually has the pistol. So the other one might have the um, Uzi or something like that with them, you know, submachine gun. But um, again, I, I just have to think on it and decide whether or not I want to actually keep these. So I'm going to keep both of those clothes for right now. And then the other soda I got from him, let's see what it is here. I actually don't remember. Oh, okay. So this is the uh, another Freddy Funko here, um, you know, basically dressed for Fright Night. This one being 5,000 pieces. Oh, both of these are 5,000 pieces, okay. But this one does not have black light coloring to it. But I, I actually want to keep both of these. I do like both of them, so I'm going to hang on to both of these, and I will open both of these up. And that's not it, you all, because um, I did decide to go ahead and get two more sodas on the um, second market and uh, you know I figured if I got Dr. Jekyll I might as well try to get Mr. Hyde as well and I was able to get Mr. Hyde this is the 4,000 piece one though and not the flocked one people are reselling that flocked one at a pretty high price um, I think the lowest I saw was like $70 just not worth it for me um, so I was able to find this one at a decent price and what was really awesome about it is the listing on Macari actually had Freddy Funko has Werewolf right along with it. So these two together, really the price was not bad at all. I was pretty surprised to see that. So I definitely jumped on that deal there. Happy to have Freddy Funko's Werewolf because this is another one that I want to make sure that I added to my collection. And there were some other um, interesting figures for Fright Night, but this is it for me. I don't think I'm going to worry about anything else, you know, trying to find anything else second market for Fright Night. I'm pretty happy with what I have here. Um, so I'm going to rip into these sodas and get these open and we'll definitely check out the glow on that Dr. Jekyll there as well. Initially, I debated on whether or not I would keep um, both versions of Dr. Jekyll, but I decided I am going to go ahead and keep both of them in my collection. 
Um, I can't remember with the glow in the dark one if it actually has um, greenish skin or if it just glows green. But we'll, we'll look, take a look at that one in a moment here. This is the non-glow one here, which does look pretty cool here. And um, you know, initially when they first uh, you know announced Fright Night 2, I was hoping that there would be more um, licensed characters in the mix. But um, you know, the fact that they went with these, um, I guess you would call them public domain characters at this point. You know, and some definitely inspired by Universal Monsters. Uh, I think it, it makes sense. You know, it does work overall. And I do like the look of this one here. Kind of simple, but I, I definitely like that he has the uh, the potion there in his hand. And, you know, with the uh, sodas here, there aren't, like, necessarily chases. But obviously, there are variants going on that are more limited in number. So, it kind of feels like chases in a way. Let's go ahead and check out the glow in the dark one here. Remember, this is one of the ones that I got from uh, collecting plastic. This is actually the main reason why I wanted to do the trade with them to get this one specifically. And from what I see, so yeah, it actually looks the same as the other. So maybe I don't necessarily need to keep both, but this one should have a glow to it. And I will try to capture that for you all and show it here. And yeah, I mean, looking at it, you can't really, let me see. Well, I guess the paint does look kind of different there, but it definitely doesn't look greenish there. So, yeah, hopefully the glow is cool with it. But, yeah, I've opened them up, you know, both of these up now. So, I guess I will still, you know, stick with both of them. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting that it was done that way. I remember this one uh, being 3,000 pieces. Oh, it definitely shows that there on the pog. You know, it matches the can there. It says, Freddy Funkle as Dr. Jekyll Glow. Next up here, we got the uh, Freddy Funko, like I said, prepared for Fright Night. This one not having a black light paint job. And I'm glad with all of these that the stickers actually are already on the can. I don't have to worry about peeling them off of the plastic and putting them on. And uh, that other black light one, I, I still really like the look of it, but um, I don't think I'm going to go second market for it. Um, some For certain figures, some of the prices are still kind of up there. Um, on the second market so it's just not really worth it for me in the long run okay but yeah this one kind of simple but it's cool I mean I, uh, when I first got into collecting Funko um, not right away but then for a while I went through a phase where I was really into um, the Freddy Funko figures I have since um, removed some of those figures from my collection just not into them as much as I used to be but um, Funko has been stepping it up doing some interesting Freddy Funkos recently and definitely let me know if you're into Freddy Funko and like which ones you have in your collection. So the color scheme for this one, I'm not sure what it, if there was any inspiration behind it, if it's any type of reference or not. I mean, it's, it's definitely unique for the character. I will say that for sure. <laughs> yeah, it actually does look pretty good. It looks better up close than um, I thought it would. Yeah, that pink is just so super bright there. And um, I will try to, you know, um, show you what this looks like with the uh, the black light, of course. Yeah, pretty nice looking figure there. This one, though, it seems like um, the feet well, is bent forward a little bit. So this one doesn't necessarily want to stand. I might have to just lay this one down for a moment there and then work that out later on. Maybe I'll use like some um, some of those like sticky tack or something like that to um, help him stand up on the shelf. You know, I'll work that out. I've had to do that with... Um, some sodas and some mystery minis, things like that, you know, to just to make sure that they stand properly. Okay, so again, like I said, with Hyde, you know, this is the um just the the standard Hyde, basically, it's not the flocked one. It would be really nice to have the flocked one eventually. Like I would only get that one if I see it come down in price. Uh, and maybe it will over time. I'm not sure if you know how these sodas will do in the long run. I think the only thing I've ever watched that actually featured um. Jekyll and Hyde was there was that Van Helsing movie with Hugh Jackman and then also um what else was he a character in oh um the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen um you know he's a character in there as well um but I think that's it as far you know I don't think I've seen like any like very old movie that featured him obviously you know this character was an inspiration for Hulk you know for Marvel but yeah, I, I do like the look of him. I really like the way they did the teeth there and the eyes and yeah, the, even the freckles and everything like this one turned out looking really awesome here. So very happy with this figure here. I think it is one of the better sodas out of this particular mix. So very happy to have that one there. And like I said, you know, I was able to get this one from Macari at a pretty good deal along with the werewolf there, which I'll open up in just a moment. Okay, and there's the Pog, of course. 4,000 pieces. 
overall with the sodas um I think pretty low counts. I think the highest count with these sodas, if I'm not mistaken, is 5,000 pieces, whereas all of the pops were 10,000 pieces. So, of course, that does have an effect on value in the long run. Okay, like I said here, finally, uh, the werewolf here, which looks pretty awesome as well. I think this is another one. I saw a lot of people saying that they were going after this one and hoping for this particular one. And, uh, you know, some people go back and forth about, you know, is it werewolf, wolfman? I don't know if it really makes a difference I guess when you say wolfman you're talking about a very specific character whereas of course werewolf is a more general term <laughs> but I I think it was such a great idea to actually have him in this red shirt it just adds a lot of uh you know life to the look of this figure <laughs> I like too that he has a little rip there you can see the fur kind of poking out there so yeah they really did put some thought into the design even the pants there are ripped some they put some thought into the design. I think this is a really awesome looking soda. I really like this one here as well. They, they did a great job with those. So yeah, in terms of the variety with the sodas, um, I think it's really excellent what they did here. Still kind of wish there was more variety with the pops um, and you know more of a surprise as to which pops you would get with these particular boxes. But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what they did with Fright Night. And I feel like you know there's so much potential to step it up even more um, next year. You know, so we'll, we'll see what they end up doing. But, um, yeah, you know, that's my haul there. The pops, the sodas, um, you know, my Fright Night haul. And like I said, a couple of other items here. And um, it would be, you know, it's kind of tempting to try to go for Freddy Funko with Sam. But like I said, I would only add that to my collection if I could find it at a really good price. But I definitely want to hear your thoughts about these figures here. You know, um, do you have any of these in your collection? Are you going for any of these? Um, if you got a Fright Night box, you know, what did you end up receiving? Let me know about all those good things. Also, tell me as well, you know, how are you celebrating Halloween this year? A lot of years I, I say, you know, I want to get out, I want to do something, but then I end up being kind of lazy and just staying home watching horror movies, you know. But uh, yeah, let me know all about your Halloween plans and, you know, what you end up doing this Halloween. Uh, thank you all so much for taking the time to check out this video. This is probably one of my longer haul videos recently. So if you stuck with me all the way, I'd really do appreciate that. You all take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you again real soon.